to show you, gang, are made by the company Promar. Promar Ahi USA makes pretty much everything you use on a daily basis when you go fishing. So we're going to show you the series of gaffs that they have, which are the elite series of gaffs from Promar. Now these things are pretty bitchin' because they're made out of carbon fiber, they're super lightweight. Check this thing out, super lightweight gaff. It's got a bitchin' three inch hook on it, but it's super, super lightweight. It doesn't weigh hardly anything, but it's super strong. It's got this bitchin' handle with these uh, Turks heads on it. They're pretty bitchin'. It's excellent for holding on to when you're trying to gap that big fish. The three inch hook is absolutely phenomenal. It's super sharp. It works very, very well for when you're gapping that big yellow tail or the Dorado. I like to use the smaller hook, the three inch hook for gapping yellow tail, Dorado, halibut, white sea bass, stuff like that. Some of that fish up to 50, 40, 50 pounds. I like that smaller hook size. It's just much easier to gap the fish. But now when we get up into that blue fin like we have in Southern California, that two and 300 pound blue fin, we're gonna use this six inch hook on the Promar Elite Series gaff. This is an eight foot gaff. The one I just showed you was a six foot gaff, but this is an eight foot Elite Series Promar gaff. These things are badass. Super sharp hook, big old six inch hook on it. Phenomenal, super strong hook. You're gonna have a really hard time straightening this hook out. If you watch the show Wicked Tuna, you watch Paul on there, he has these Elite Series Promar gaffs on his boat on the Wicked Pissa. If you watch my video series on either my YouTube channel or on my uh, pay website, Your Saltwater Guide, you're gonna see these gaffs being used to get those big giant bluefin. The Elite Series Gaff by Promar is a phenomenal gaff. It works really well. When you're gaffing that big giant bluefin, what you want to do is you always want to try to hit them right here in the peck. Turn that fish upside down when you gaff it. The minute that fish turns upside down, it stops dead in its tracks. These fish have never been upside down in their life, ever. It stuns them. We put this big long eight foot gaff out in the water get underneath that blue fin and flip him upside down when we gaff him in the pecs. He stops moving. I don't care if he weighs 300 pounds or if he weighs 20 pounds. When you gaff him in the pecs and turn him upside down, it stops that fish dead in his tracks. Now I've seen so many of my deckhands reach out and gaff one of those things in the back or gaff him in the tail or gaff him in the side of the head and it rips the gaff right out of their hand. Gang, you want to always hit him in the pec. You want to flip that fish upside down. Also, here's a big one. When you're gapping a fish, when you are the guy that's going to gap the fish, you never ever gap the fish with the hook pointed away from the boat. Sticking that hook in the water like this and gapping out like that, we call that digging a hole. You're digging a hole, you're digging a hole, you're digging a hole. You want to turn that gaff around, have the hook pointed at the water, and the point of the hook pointed back at the boat. You want to drag that gaff across the top of the water, or if you're going to gaff that fish in his pecs, when he comes around, you want to stick that thing underneath the water and gaff him in his pecs. You do not want to turn it this way. That's gaffing upside down and digging a hole. We've seen so many people screw the whole thing up. They have this hook pointed away from the boat, up towards the sky, and they're digging, and they're digging, and they're digging, and they're not really getting the fish, or when they do, they knock it up in the air. Now it's out of position. If you flip this hook over like this, gaff straight across the water right towards the boat, you're gonna be gaffing the fish and pulling them towards you. If you have the gaff pointed out to sea, when you gaff the fish, you're pushing them as far away from the boat as you can. That's absolutely ridiculous. Now, I know you saw your boyfriend, sisters, cousins, aunts, uncle do it that way, but that was the wrong way. There's only two ways to do it. The wrong way and the right way. And the right way to gaff any fish is to have that gaff hook pointed towards the water 
come down and pull that across. And then once you get that fish on the gaff, I'll show you with this shorter gaff, it'll be easier. Once you gaff them and you get them, you want to go hand over hand straight up and onto the boat. You do not want to gaff the fish and then pull the fish out of the water like this is a fishing pole. Now he's going to fall off the gaff. That You pull straight toward you, hand over hand, straight up, onto the deck, down onto the deck, unhook the fish, gaff hook back up in the air. Okay, I'm just trying to help you. I'm just telling you the honest to God way. Now listen. When you have the gap, when you hook, I've seen this so many times, it blows my flippin' mind. I just want to throw stuff at you. I see so many people, and my deckhands are on here. All the deckhands I've had over the last 45 years are always watching on Instagram and Facebook. And they'll tell you, I yell and scream the whole time. I take every single fish super personal. And this gaff is not a toy. The gaff is super dangerous. You see the height of this gaff? This is a six foot gaff. It's about an inch and a half taller than I am. Okay, but see where this hook is? If I'm jumping up and down on the deck all excited because we got a fish, like most people do when they see a big fish come, and you're standing there with this gaff, and the guy jumps, he's gonna run this gaff hook straight into his head. This gaff should never be butt on the deck, you standing there. First of all, you look like a dumbass, okay? And to anybody that does this for a living. This gap, should, if you wanna rest it, it should be rested on the gunnel, on the rail of the boat, so that the hook's above, there's nobody gonna jump six feet straight up in the air and gap their head, unless you're fishing with LeBron James or somebody. 90% of the time, no one's gonna be able to jump that high to get that gap hook in their head. Second, problem I see is the moment the big fish is hooked, you grab the gaff and then you stand there for an hour, 45 minutes, a half an hour with the gaff. You're like, for God's sakes, put the gaff down. These, the really unique thing about these Promar Elite Series gaffs, the gaff butt, the rubber piece on the end will fit in every rod holder on the boat. Put this in the rod holder. Why? Now you have two hands. If you don't hold the gap, you'll have two hands to untangle the line. That fish is going to be going to the back of the boat, to the bow, all around the boat. If you watch any of my videos on YouTube or Instagram or any of the places I have videos, you'll always see myself or my deckhands. We grab the gap at the very last second. We don't walk around all the time with the gaff following you around because that's silly. That doesn't help anything. 